This race generating so much attention nationally, especially. Mm -hmm. We reached out to both candidates to follow them for a day as they campaign. Roy Blunt's campaign will sit down with us later tonight. And Jason Kander's campaign gave 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel access to his day to show us why he wants the job in Washington. Hey, Jason, how are you? We meet Jason Kander at a St. Joseph library. Can I have my uh, pad? It's a 35 year old Democrat's first stop of the day with 22 of them left in a grueling campaign against a political powerhouse. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. The race is tight and has gained the attention of the national press, who are also here at this education roundtable. As we head to the next stop, show that I'm being I'm set to, too. I'm trying to set the right example for the kids. Oh, you did it right. I ask him about the difference between the race just seven months ago and now. <laughs> Things have changed a little bit. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. We're obviously really pleased with where it is. Part of his momentum can be chalked up to this. I'm Jason Kander. <laughs> One of the political ads this election. Kander says he learned his way around a gun long before his military days. Uh, I was pretty young. I mean, my dad was a police officer, so um, I grew up, gosh, first time fired one, probably nine or ten. Stop number two, Pleasant Valley. Thank you to UAW. Cantor stays away from the word tough when describing life on the trail, but would like to have his wife and son true with him like they were on an early campaign bus tour. We, we named him after the, uh, the Hamlet quote, to the known self be true, pointing to home. It's like, you gotta go to work, and I'm like, yeah, and he comes on the bus. And I'm like, nobody, we don't have the bus anymore. Maybe we will again. Just before his final stop touring the gas and plumbing training facility, Kintner tells us how he thinks he'll cross the finish line a winner. Uh, when you're in a campaign, they'll say, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I always think to myself, well, yeah, but if I sprint the marathon, then I'll probably win. And that's really what we do. Brian Abel, 41 Action News.